We are about to see something good. The following contest is a hell in a cell match. Making his way to the ring from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Harvey. Tensions riding high. Plans on getting things settled in the ring. I can't wait. The competition level has never been higher, but this guy's ready to prove he can hang. Things are about to get good. And his opponent, from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 236 pounds, Matt Harvey! The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. He's been demanding this match for quite some time, and now he is ready to compete. It's the structure that's going to make the difference in this one, folks. These superstars can act all nonchalant all they want, but when you see that structure and the door slams behind you, I don't care who you are, you shudder inside. No argument there, Corey. That's why there have been so few WWE superstars who have ever had the guts to step inside the structure for a Hell in a Cell match. The thing that makes this so much more insidious than a simple cage match is there's no escape. The door is padlocked, and the only way out is by pinfall or submission. Or by stretcher, maybe. And there's always that. Out of the ring and into Hell itself. Uncorks an uppercut. Ooh. Hits him with the counter. Ball uppercut. That'll knock you silly. Ooh, stiff punch. Punch straight to the face, stays off the attack. Oh my goodness! Counters, this could be an opportunity. Oof. With an uppercut. And he's able to reverse. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. How about another? The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Uh-oh. Twist of fate. He just created a prime opportunity. Cover. There's two. Are we sure that wasn't three? Uh, just about as close as you can get. I can see it in the eyes from here. Disbelief. Unbelievable how this one is still going on. It'll take things into the ring. Yeah, there's a clothesline. Atomic drop. Will stop them in their place. Ooh, leg drop right to the midsection. And then the basement drop kick. 
Hooked up. DDT. Into the cover. Breaks the count. How? How? As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. to the ring. Look at this. DDT. Kneeling. Oh, destroying their body. Climbing up to the top now. We're going to finish it off. Swanton Bomb. One of the best to ever do that move. Two count. He manages to kick out. What strength. I can't believe that this whole arena is in shock. Yeah, but no one's more shocked than the man who thought he had a pinfall. And now the question runs in the mind, how am I going to be able to end this? Blast off. Right by those cell walls. Oh, impressive counter. yourself for the effort you put inside the cell. Yeah, but you'd be happier with the win. What a shot. Oh, bang! Oh, strong impact! Big punch finds its mark. Uppercut! Jarring. Scary pattern start to form as that upper area takes more damage. Efficient offense leaving no breathing room. He's got that determined look now. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Oh, now the mid set looking to end this. He's, He's got his best opportunity right in front of him. This one bad. Yeah, what a major win for him here. A win like that proved he is not messing around. That match was all business from him, Corey, and that worked.